back my friends to another Fallout 4 video and it's been a while since I've actually put one out I believe it's been around four or five days now uh, since my last post so we're going to be bringing it back here today uh, with another compilation video this time based around the majority of the unique pieces of power armor that you can find around Fallout 4 and what I mean by unique is that you won't really find the same piece of power armor uh, you know from a different location there's only literally these locations and these certain quest lines that you can actually obtain these from I believe there's around six in total that you will find in this video uh, but I'm also going to be included as well some of the rare paint jobs that you can find just to go alongside it as kind of like a mini hub for you collectors out there who like to go around and collect all of the unique things I know a lot of you guys like to collect all of the best stuff or the most unique things and uh, that's why I thought I'd make this mini hub type of video uh, for you guys here today so as always if you do enjoy these compilation type of videos on Fallout and do you want to see more in the future uh, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel and with that being said let's get straight into this so for the first two pieces of power armor that we are going to be covering today, these are both known as the Exemplar's Torso as well as the Visionary's Helmet. You can find these on Brotherhood of Steel's side quest that you'll actually get from Captain Cows. And this begins with the quest line known as the Lost Patrol. So of course you will have to get this from Captain Cows, who is on the command deck of the Pretty Win itself. And once you've completed this side quest and reported back to him, he will then give you another side quest known as Duty or Dishonor. Now it's this side quest itself where you can get the Exemplar's Torso, but it does have to be obtained in a very specific way. Now the quest line itself pretty much tasks you to find who has been stealing from the Brotherhood and uh, you'll essentially come to find later on that it's a guy named Clark who is stealing food and feeding it to the ghouls underground. Now when you follow Clark to the ghouls underground itself, um, you'll then be given a few options here at this point and the only way you can get the Exemplar's torso is by convincing him and passing that you know persuasion check or whatever you want to call it and actually getting him to turn himself in. That is the only way that you can obtain this. Now as you can see I did end up doing this here and I did actually end up passing the persuasion check there um, but one thing you don't want to do is you do not want to open the door to the ghost behind him like me because he will turn on you and you will no longer be able to get it. Just make sure that you pass the check mark, make him turn himself in, then report back to Captain Cows himself. Now once again, if you're like me and you open up the door, you won't be able to get this, but as long as you get him to turn himself in when you report back to Captain Cows, he will then reward you with the Exemplar's Torso, and that is your first unique piece of power armor of the compilation. Now the next one is known as the Visionary's Helmet and comes shortly after you complete the mission known as Duty or Dishonor, which is of course the quest uh, which you just completed to get the Exemplar's Torso. Now, once you've completed this, I do believe that you ha have had to have completed uh, another one of the Brotherhood of Steel quest lines, which is one of the main ones known as Liberty Reprimed. And when you've completed that, you will then gain access to a quest from Captain Cows known as the Loose End. Now for the quest itself, you'll be assigned to kill somebody known as Virgil. I'm pretty sure you guys uh, will end up coming across him, uh, you know, during the main quest on itself. But you don't actually have to kill him. You have two options at this point. You can either go ahead and kill him for the first option, or the second option, you can ask him to remain in hiding. Now, either way, when you report back to Captain Cows, you know, depending on what you've chosen, if you've chosen to ask Virgil to remain in hiding, uh, you can then lie to Captain Cows and just pretend that he's dead. Or if you've actually killed him, you report back to Captain Cows again and I actually tell him that Virgil is dead. And as a reward, you'll then be given the unique piece of power armor known as the Visionary's Helmet. Now for the third piece of power armor in this compilation, this is known as the Piso Nucleic Torso and you'll find this over at Cambridge Polymer Labs. Now you don't have to do any simple uh, kind of quest lines for this, you just have to do a few things uh, in this location itself. But once you've entered the Cambridge Polymer Labs, you'll be greeted by somebody known as Molly and she'll essentially take you on a tour around the building and you'll eventually end up past the contamination room into the main room itself. And in the main room, you'll find a machine up against the wall and you'll also find an unidentified sample there. Now just to summarize how this essentially works, you'll need to put the unidentified sample uh, into the machine and then scan it using the terminal and it will essentially tell you what's in the unidentified sample. So as you can see for me, uh, this ended up being hydrochloric acid. Now you also need to find out what the machine needs to give you back the piezonucleic torso. So to do that, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you click on check current fabrication parameters 
and this will then tell you what it needs in order. Uh, so as you can see for me, for Regent 1, it says I need Lithium Hydride, and for Regent 2, it says I need Gold, and then for the very end of the machine itself, I also need Isotope. Now to get these, you'll need to find more unidentified samples, and you'll find these in the main area just across from the machine. There'll basically be two in the two rooms uh, in the main area on the bottom floor, so one in each of the bottom floor rooms, and then you find the other one on the top floor, so if you go up the stairs and then go into one of the rooms again, uh, you'll find a ramp that goes into kind of like the roofing area, and then if you make your way all the way around in the roofing area to the very end, drop down through the hole, you'll then end up in another room where you'll find the last unidentified identified sample. Now you'll also need to find isotope as well and to find this you'll need to go back down uh, in to the one of the bottom rooms again and basically on the wall you will find a terminal and behind the terminal you will see the radiation room and uh, basically all you want to do is just unlock the radiation room door, make your way around, take out the glowing ghoul there so just be warned there is a glowing ghoul in there and then on the shelf you will find the isotope. From there you have all that you need, so go back to the main machine in the main room, uh, scan all of the unidentified samples, it will then you know, bring back what each unidentified sample is, and when you find the unidentified sample that your machine needs, go ahead and place them in order. So once again for me, for the first segment I needed to place a lithium hydride, and then for the second segment I needed to place gold, and then at the very end of the machine I needed to place isotope. But once you've got all that done in the order needed, then go ahead and run the program on the terminal, and the piezo nucleic torso will then come down on a conveyor belt, ready for you guys to go ahead and pick up and obtain as your third unique piece of power armor of this compilation. Now for the next two, these are both different leg armors, and these are known as Honor and Vengeance. Both of these can be obtained uh, from Proctor Tegan on the Priduin, so once again, uh, this is with the Brotherhood of Steel, and he'll basically be selling these to you the higher the rank you get in the Brotherhood. So, you know, as you complete the Brotherhood of Steel questline, uh, you'll essentially become a different rank, so you go from Knight, I believe, to Paladin, and uh, once you're a Paladin, you can go back to him, and he'll be selling the Honor piece to you, and then if you go ahead and keep completing the Brotherhood still questline you can go back to him again and eventually he'll be signing the vengeance of course them two pairing up there as a two unique pieces of power armor for your leg armor and for the final piece today this is known as tessa's fist and you can find this over in quincy ruins uh, on the map right here and you want to make sure that you definitely come prepared to this fight, especially playing on harder difficulties, because you are going to have a fight on your hands. There's going to be a crap ton of raiders there uh, that are quite powerful that you will need to take out. And eventually, you'll come across somebody known as Tessa, who will be in a suit of power armor. And as you've probably guessed by now, when you kill Tessa, she will have the Tessa's fist on her body, ready for you guys to pick up and keep as the final piece of power armor in this compilation. Now, just as honorable mentions in this video, I thought I'd go ahead and throw in the three awesome paint job schemes that you can have and uh, find for your power armor. And the first one you'll find is over at the robotics disposal ground. And this is the kind of really red and uh, black flaming effect on your power armor. Of course, once you're here, all you literally need to do is just make your way through the door uh, into the room and on the table. There you will find the hot rodder magazine that gives off that flaming red effect. Now for the shark paint job, you want to make your way over to the Atoms Cat Garage. And basically in the very back, uh, inside of Zeke's trailer on the bed stand there uh, next to his bed, you will find another Hot Rodder magazine that will give you the shark paint job. Once again, uh, definitely a sleek look for your power armor there. And then for the final one, which is actually the hot pink one, you can find this in the parking garage just across from the Milton General Hospital. You can actually find this located right here on your map and you simply want to go through the same door that I do to get inside of the garage itself. Now inside of here, there is gonna be this crazy but kind of cool and creepy maze type of thing going on inside of here. You're gonna to want to make sure that you come prepared, uh, make sure that you are aware of what's going on around you because there is gonna be a lot of jump scares, there's gonna be a lot of things going on uh, that you won't necessarily know is gonna happen. Uh, so just make sure that you be very careful going through here. It's actually a very, very cool maze. I'm not gonna spoil too much of that for you. Uh, but towards the end of the maze, you'll find a room which you'll need to open up, which is a white door. And inside of there, you will find on top of the crate, the Hot Rider magazine for the pink or the hot pink paint job with the white flame effects. Another awesome paint job that you can have on your power armors 
if you truly wish to have this one. And that, my friends, is a wrap-up of this compilation today. I just thought I'd go ahead and kind of go over uh, the majority of things that you can find in terms of uniqueness uh, for your power armor. I am aware there's better power armors out there, such as, you know, the fully upgraded X01 suits and stuff like that. And if you want to check out some of the locations for that, you can find the link down in the description down below. But once again, I just thought I'd do a mini compilation for you guys today, and hopefully this has helped you guys out. If it has, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. Subscribe if you guys are new around, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.